Welcome everybody to another edition of Subscribers Inspire. You color my life. Hashtag blooms for you. So this is another installment. And first of all, I have chosen this beautiful no ID big lip fowl that we call Bubblicious in our home. For all my subscribers who have joined up until now and have not had a mention yet, it is early days in the series, but I will do this on a sporadic basis based on what I have in bloom and then upload maybe seven, six clips, depending on what blooms are around and dedicate them to the subscribers in my channel with whom I am interacting in the comments section below. So really I, I want to get to know everybody, um, but if you don't comment then these blooms will represent your subscription to my channel and I hope that you like them. So let's have a look at what else was in bloom and let's mention some of the subscribers. I hope you enjoy this series because it will be something I will do regularly. This is Brassavola tuberculata, growing in Lecca with self-watering and it's her first blooming. And Melissa Walker, these blooms are for you. I hope that there aren't that many distortions. I hope that you like them. They smell delicious at night. They have a lemony fragrance, quite powerful. But I want to thank you, Melissa, so much for the warm reception on YouTube as a subscriber. Your enthusiasm was so very encouraging. Your first comment was very, very encouraging, I have to say. Thank you so very, very much. And I hope that you like my Brassavola tubercolata and the blooms that I have chosen for you. I really, really appreciate your encouragement. Thank you so very much. And Broder, I have some foliage for you. This is for a thank you to also appreciate your comments, your awesome suggestions and the great communication that we have. Don't you just love this leaf? This is Sologeny and the foliage is just marvelous. And I'm sorry I have to film inside. It is far too windy to be filming outside. So this leaf is for you. No, the bloom is for you. <laughs> this is Sologeny Lime Bay. It is the eighth bloom on this spike. You can see every little node up here represents one bloom. It's on number eight, and number eight is at its prime. That's why I wanted to film it. So, Anne, thank you very, very much for everything. And I would like to dedicate this blooming for to you, woo, birds in flight. And say thank you so much for subscribing and for hanging in there with me and being patient with my funky download distortion editing skills. Thank you very much. Hope to see you soon and I hope you like it. Here is Dendrobium Roy Tokunaga, still in beautiful bloom, two, three months now. No sign of any fading, as far as I can see. So Danny, it's you, Danny's Orchid Journey. I hope that you will accept these blooms as a token of my appreciation. I have not known you three months, but what I have gotten to know and how much fun we're having in our comments section. I love it and I hope that this will continue for a long time. So Roy Tokunaga to Danny from Danny's Orchid Journey and 
these beautiful, long-lasting, even though not fragrant, blooms, I dedicate them to you. And thank you so much for such a warm welcome on your channel. Let's have some coffee, put our slippers on, and watch orchid videos. Thank you, Danny. Phalaenopsis Chileriana. For you, Orchidee. I just saw your unboxing video and your new Chileriana pink butterfly. Oh my goodness, the pleasure you will get when that Phalaenopsis blooms. While you wait, please accept my Chileriana dedicated to you while you wait for yours to bloom. First, I want to congratulate you on your 5,000. That is just amazing. Well done and well deserved. And secondly, I am sorry, I'm filming this inside. I'm trying not to get distortions. And here comes the wind. Anyway, sorry about that. But secondly, I hope that you will accept these blooms of my Chileriana as a thank you for the friendship we've established over the years. I was so happy to see you reach 5,000. I was 500, around just above or below the 500 mark. So, yeah, I'm chuffed, so chuffed for you. So thank you so much. Please, please stay safe. I know, I know you're doing that already. But, you know, I have to say it, so. This Chileriana, this year, with its absolutely knockout fragrance, blooms for you. Thank you, Dee. Paying homage to the little ones. This one is for you, Orchidea. Your recent video was so cute with all your minis. So I decided to dedicate this supposed Tolumnia Firm White. I'm not sure that it is, but if that's what it says on the tag for now, I have no other label for it. I would like to dedicate this little Tolumnia Bloom Spike to you. They are a little bit of a color changer and they are just the cutest, cutest addition. And I hope that you can see them because I do have a little bit of wind. Thank you so much, Orchidea, for being such a great supporter of my channel. I hope that you like these little blooms and I'll see you in your next video. Thank you for everything. Bye. Ulla Vestergaard Andersen. My little Zogo Vivian is now in full bloom and I want to dedicate her to you. Thank you so much for your encouraging comments and thank you so much for sticking around even while the video quality isn't as good as one would like as a viewer. Please understand that I am definitely, definitely very appreciative of your patience. And for that reason, this little one blooms for you. She's my variegated little Sogo Vivian with the cutest, cutest little blooms. I hope that you like her, even that she's not fragrant, but she is just adorable. So this one's for you, Ulla. Thank you so very, very much. This is clearly not a Leodoro sweet memory, Praben. 
but do you know what it is? It is my Victoria Regina. And I thought I would dedicate these two blooms to you for being so supportive of my channel and for all your wonderful and positive encouraging comments. And also because you are so patient with the possible distortion you might see right now because the wind just blew, but also because you're so patient and I hope that by now your Leodoro sweet memory has arrived. So Victoria Regina this year, two blooms. And I hope that you like her. She blooms for you, there is no fragrance. But she's very, very pretty. So thank you so much for your support, Craven. Have a wonderful day. If Irena is your teacher and you see this video and you're not sure if she has seen it, please let her know that there is a Vanda Lavender Mist Louis blooming on her behalf in southern Spain as a thank you for subscribing, for supporting Ninja Orchids. And I really hope that you enjoy these blooms. All that set aside, Irena, I appreciate very much your comments and that you have decided to subscribe to my channel. It is not a sunny day today, but I think it's best to film these blooms now when they're at their prime because it is rainy and humid and I do not want to end up waiting one more day and then, whoops, there's botrytis or something. So this Vanda Lavender Mist Louis, Irena, your teacher, she blooms for you and I hope you like her. So that wraps it up for this installment of Blooms for You. I hope that you are enjoying this series. It helps me when I go around my orchid to keep connected. You know, I just, I like the personal touch. I don't know. I hope that it is fun for you as well to see where my thoughts are when I watch your videos or when I see you in, in the comments as a, as a subscriber, leaving me some encouraging words. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Until next time. Bye.